The main purpose behind a hybrid drone is to either accomplish a particular task or to save energy. We have seen in the past how drones like the XP4 can dramatically increase flight time and this can even be simplified down into smaller designs. The Fro spins its entire body with polymer membranes and a telescoping carbon fiber rod. It's able to adjust its wingspan, yet maintain velocity while flying. The monocopter variant is even more compact, and it can transform on the fly during takeoff. In other words, in the future, a drone could change its shape to get into small spaces, or extend its body to increase flight times. A transforming ability can also get into more sophisticated designs with soft materials. Yet another aerial transformer utilizes soft wings in a quadcopter setup. When accelerating, inertial forces transition the vehicle between its stable modes, and a four-bar linkage folds the wings in and out. The platform utilizes less power in gliding mode, yet it can transform into tight areas and maintain high maneuverability. The company is consistently working on self-folding displays and other aerial transformations. So they are definitely worth checking out and I'll leave that link in my description. However, to have a truly morphable design, you need sophistication in the processing. The Morphe has 3D printed elastomer joints, and inside these joints is a 3D Hall effect sensor. When the drone hits a surface, the joint allows it to bend, and the sensor can measure the difference to an onboard processor, so that the other props compensate for deformation. This may not seem much, but this kind of development can lead to very advanced morphing capabilities. We are starting to see 4D materials emerge and these can be incorporated into future drones or even robotics. What makes them so unique is that they can react to piezoelectric or magnetoreactive conditions. And this means that they can shape shift when they're exposed to this certain condition. So a future drone could very well be built like the Morphe with a 3D Hall effect sensor and a processor on board which can account for these deflections. One example of something that could be advanced forward with this technology is the Dragon. And as we have seen before, it is a very impressive machine which can manipulate objects. Yet, it's very slow in reaction time and it has limited flight abilities. If you have something that can scan and adapt to its articulation, then a drone like the Dragon could be advanced dramatically with this adaption technology. But this technology would absolutely correlate with reinforcement learning. And we have already started to see how drones can outperform humans in drone racing. In this particular setup, an IMU quantifies speed and acceleration. A neural network makes use of the data to localize the drone in space to detect gates. The control unit then selects the best option to fly and complete the course as quickly as possible. The key to this is that the Swift was trained in simulation, so it learns which maneuvers are best by trial and error. We already see how reinforcement learning can advance mobility in robotics, and we're already starting to see this make an impact in drone technology. To save energy on a drone, you can be very creative, and this can come in many different forms. One simple example of this is just to put a simple pogo stick on a drone. And in this example, the flight time is extended to over 50 minutes. However, there has to be consideration for the type of equipment you're adding to the drone, because the extra weight will diminish flight time. An even more sophisticated design has been revealed by EPFL. It mimics its biological counterpart by utilizing articulated elastic legs. This allows the robot to move from restricted airspace to more suitable locations to fly. Yet, it can also conserve energy when stationary on the ground. It's able to jump over 26 centimeters, which was previously a pretty hard task to accomplish with adding extra weight to a flying vehicle. However, it won't be eating any scraps on the ground anytime soon. The Hack Gamble Sphere is a very intriguing omnidirectional drone, because it can not only roll on the ground, but it has six degrees of freedom. This means that it can move around without tilting, and this amounts to greater stabilization and control. It still incorporates one of the main ways to achieve six degrees of freedom, and that is to have more propellers that are offset 90 degrees for more controllability. This design is definitely intriguing because it does supersede its predecessors by having protected propellers. However, it would be interesting if they would go the other route and have articulated props in the future. It's hard to say if a round wheel is the way to go, and I think there would have to be more sophistication to increase the speed of the vehicle. But when you compare this to something that just has four wheels, there's definitely an increase in maneuverability. So it would be an excellent drone to inspect in tight areas. Another method to achieve six degrees of freedom is to actually have modular ability and assembly in mid space. In theory, there would be an energy savings when the drones are flying individually, 
and the costs would only come when they are assembled. And this set up a unique coupling system in the form of magnets can be switched on or off, and a control system can operate each unit independently, or switch over to a unified controlled system. In the future, reinforcement learning could advance this type of design. So we have seen how morphine optimization and having a dual purpose such as rolling on the ground can dramatically increase the flight time or the performance of the drone. But what I didn't really get into in this video was the propulsion system itself. Now, there are different things like electrostatic motors that are starting to emerge in drone technology. And if we have some sort of innovation in propulsion, it will dramatically change how we even view what a drone is. But one thing's for sure, that control software along with reinforcement learning is already changing just how a basic drone performs. And to me, that's pretty incredible, maybe a little bit alarming as well. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. Please like it if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, see you in the next one.